Primary fermentation is just taking that sugar and turning it into alcohol, like I said, 10, 11%. And if you're using oak, as you see in the picture on the left, um, you're gonna get a little richer character. You might get some toasty character, but it tends to have a little more body, a little bit more sort of what we call oxidative notes. So you might get a little nuttiness because the wine is more uh, likely to be exposed to oxygen in that environment. And then you compare that with the stainless steel. Uh, those uh, fermentations will be, be able to keep oxygen at bay. So the wines tend to have more fruit, more brightness and freshness and sort of a nerviness to them as well. Then once you make your primary fermentation, now you may have different grapes, you may have different vineyards, you may have different uh, years. If you're making a wine that is not a vintage dated wine, it can be from many different years. They call that reserve wine. So what you do then is you take all of these different lots that you have and you blend them or the assemblage. And that's probably one of the most important parts of the production. And you know, people who do this, like the gentleman you see there in the pictures, they have to be apprenticed for like 15, 20 years before they are even given the head job. Uh, it's that important. And they might taste over 100 different lots to make you know, the perfect blend. And especially if you're a large producer like you know, Moet and Chandon or um, you know, Piper, Piper Heidsack, whatever, if you're making a wine with your label on that, that's the non-vintage blend, you want that to be consistent year after year. And that comes through the blending process.